Oh yeah, I got. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, oh god, that feels big, dude. Dude, this feels <laughs> big. This feels very big. Oh, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bet you guys are excited to see it, your boy. I'm back. No, but for real though, I'm still in Minnesota. I have been trying to film a few duck hunts while I've been up here, but they just haven't panned out. It's been freaking rough. So, with that being said, today's video, we are meeting up with one of my buddies, Connor Kleist, local beauty, and we're gonna be trying to do a walleye catch clean cook. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you guys don't know what Carl's Bait and Tackle, it's basically the best place on the internet to buy all of your fishing needs. They got clothes, they got bait casters, they got spinning reels, they got rods, reels, I already said reels. Anything you guys need, they have it, and you can save up to 30% off some stuff, which is unreal, guys. It's the best place to get the best baits and the cheapest baits. So I will leave a link down in the description if you guys wanna go and check that out. Right now, we are in central Minnesota. I'm at this gas station right here. Gonna go get some morning goodies and wait for my buddy Connor to show up. Once he shows up, I think we're gonna go get some bait, and then after that, we're gonna go to the lake and try to catch some fish for you guys. Stay tuned, you're not gonna miss today's episode. This up. I, I brought you a gift. Thank you. That's one scoop. She was a point. She was generous. <laughs> Let's just say she was generous. The boys here. This is my man, Connor. You offer a guide service too, don't you? Do. How can people contact you? Uh, best way to do that, phone number 763-229-1814. Otherwise, Facebook's a great way, Instagram, uh, really any social media and get a hold of me and we'll go catch some fish. You heard it here first, folks. If you guys are in the Detroit Lakes area or anywhere in Minnesota and just wanna get on some fish, any types of fish, Connor is the guy to hook you up. So I will leave all this stuff linked down below. Make sure to go check him out. But he showed up. We got the old 1895 Storm, the white, the white fang looking all succulent and juicy. And we're going fishing today, aren't we? So like I said in the beginning of this video, we are going after walleyes and particularly some big ones. You saw those minnows, they're pretty big. Getting the rods rigged up. Getting the rods rigged up. So how, chill Rick. Okay, how are we gonna catch these walleyes today, Connor? We're gonna be Lindy rigging. So Lindy rigging big minnows, shorter snow, two to three foot snow, three ounce weight down to a plain hook. I like using a little bead for a little bit of show. Pretty simple, go slow, find fish, catch fish. Simple as that, he says, simple as that, he says. Well, I just wanted to let you guys know how we're catching them before we get out there, just because it might be kind of windy out there. I have no clue. I just wanted to give you guys a good visual on how we're catching fish today. But with that being said, let's go to the lake. Oh my goodness, she is clear. The lake? Yeah. yeah. Wow. They have been located. First step, find the fish. True. They can't hide from Daddy Kleist. Are these the dangle sticks? The dangle sticks. Which dangle stick do you want? Let's go. I'll go here. Really? I'll go here. Okay, you're leaving me with the bougie rod, I guess. I guess I need all the advantages I can get. Dude, this is huge. You sure they're gonna eat this? I've never, I've never fished with suckers, so this is a first for me. Yeah, look at that. That thing is pretty big, honestly. I like to go just down through the bottom of the lip, right on up. Give them a little nose piercing and let them sw swim free there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do exactly what Connor just did. Oh, there we go. We're fishing now, folks. Lop her out there and just kind of work it slow, or what's the, just let it sit down there? Yep, so you're gonna go right over the side of the boat, actually. Okay. If you don't cast it. Don't cast um, it. And I'm just gonna putz with the trawler, go real slow, and uh, try to hover on top of some fish. That sounds pretty easy, dude. This is it my is. kind of fishing. It is. So you let it go all the way to the bottom? Yep, Okay. go to the bottom. And then what I like to do is I leave the bale open, mm -hmm. put a finger on it, and yeah, you can let them yep. feed them some line. This is nice. It's like not that windy out here. This is fall fishing at its finest, I feel like. Anyways, like we're doing, basically we're just throwing that big sucker down there and just dragging it on the bottom and just kind of, we have the bale open, our finger on the line and just gonna be really, really paying attention to small little bites like that. And then once once we think he has it, we flip the bale, let it eat for a second and just reel into it. I just, I don't need to set the hook or anything, just kind of reel into it. Reel and lift the tip. Reel, okay, okay, reel sounds good. Oh God, something's eating mine. It's gonna let... Oh yeah. On. Yep. On We're baby. on. How's it feel? Dude, it's feeling a lot like a walleye. I'm not even lying. It feels like a walleye. I don't know. I don't know. It feels pretty big though. I'm not I don't want to horse him though. Oh god, dude, I'm all nervous now. It's a walleye? It's a walleye. Oh god, yeah. 
literally just put on a new sucker and drop down in the way. Within like two seconds, I was starting to get bit. Yes, yeah, sir. Dude, Gold. there we go. That one that didn't take very long. That's a nice looking walleye right there. Look at him. He got that perfect. Now this folks here is too big to keep. It's a nice looking walleye right here. Let's take a look at it. Not a bad guy right here. Like I said, this is a little bit too big to keep, but we are on the board. It feels good. Just like that. Hell yeah, dude. That didn't take very long at all. Like I said, we're just trolling and doing really relaxed fishing. Just dragging some bait on the bottom and boom, we got one. Heck yeah, let's get some more. No way. Yeah. Wait, so as I, I literally guys, I just caught that fish and Connor set his rod down and he actually nice has one. All right, I'll get the net, I'll get the net. Oh yeah, that was a nice walleye. Whoa, Ooh. dude, there we go. Love it. So technically I would just call it a double because you probably, he probably had that for a little bit. Dude, that's about the same size as the other one too. Oh God, yeah, look at that. Beautiful fall Beauty. walleye. Hopefully more to come. Yeah. We'll get her back. Heck yeah, dude. Literally within like two minutes of, of each other, we, we both had two on. It was a double. a double. We count it as a double. There you had it. I caught that fish and literally Connor's line was just dangling down there. And he's like, dude, I think I got a fish. He reeled it up. Another beautiful fall walleye. I think we found a pattern here. So we're just gonna keep at her. We're gonna drop the baits back down. See if we can catch some more. The goal for today, well, Connor's been looking for a 30 incher. It might happen today. I don't know. We're off to a good start. We're just gonna keep dropping our baits down, try to get a big fish. And then later on, we're gonna try to get some eaters. Let's get back in the water. All right, we're going back down. I'm using the exact same minnow as I have been using. It's still kicking a little bit. So we're gonna make the most out of it. So we just drop down to the bottom. Once we're on the bottom, just open the bail up, have our finger on the line, and just kind of wait for a little tick tick. Yep. Dude, I got one too. I got I got one too. We got a double here. I'll let this one take it a little bit here. And I'm hooked up too. Double. Literally, Connor just started saying, oh yeah, I'm hooked up. And then I looked over, and then my rod started going too, so... I don't think mine's as big as the last one. It feels pretty decent though. Oh no, it's a pike. It's a pickerel. Son of a gun. Well, we'll we're still doubled up though. Just Connor's is better better looking than mine. All right, Pikey McGee, see you later. Connor. Walleye McGee. Another beautiful walleye. We'll see you later. Sweet. Well, that's still a double. I mean, just one was the right species and one wasn't. After you get bit by a big northern like that, an absolute giant of a northern, you want to check your line and make sure there's no frayage because that's one good way to lose a big walleye. But it looks like I'm good, honestly. I'm not really feeling any frayage. Everything looks good. The minnow, not so much. You getting bit again here? Jeez, he's hooked up again. How's how's she feeling? Heavy. Northerny or like walleye? -y? It hasn't made a run. Okay. It's Okay, I'll, I'll get the net ready just in case. This fish catch is brought to you by Bang Energy. Nice big walleye. Oh God. Big walleye. Oh God. Big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, oh, God. oh God. Almost botched that one. That's yes, let's go, That's dude. A That's a big looking walleye. Oh my God. Oh, daddy, look at that. I gotta get the big camera out for that one. That is a fat T. We just had that double. Connor dropped back down. Got another tank of a walleye. This is the biggest one so far. What are you 25, thinking? 25, 26 incher. Should we put her on the board? You got a board? I do. The judge. The judge, here we go. That's official. What's your guess, 24, 25? I'm going 25 and a half. I think 26. 20, 27. 27. And, and some change. Oh God. Oh, this guy. That's a beautiful fish though, guys. Oh my God. Love it, love it. We'll get her back. Well, we're gonna let Big Bertha go. Oh. Bear hugging, big bear buttons. hugging her. Beautiful. Oh god, she was feisty, dude. I mean, you can't say she didn't go back. Kids. Dude, 27 incher. Let's go. All right, we're just having one of those days, folks. Like I said, Connor Kleist is the man around this area. If you want to catch walleyes just like that one that we just caught, I will leave his stuff down below. You guys gotta book him. He even provides bang energy. That's what I heard. But that's awesome. We just boated the biggest fish of the freaking day so far. And we've only been out here for probably about like half an hour or so, even if that. But we're gonna get back down there and see if we can catch some big fish. Sweet. You can't beat this though. Like this is just like so chill. I love I love this kind of fishing. I gotta start doing more like this. Yeah. Oh God, I'm getting bit hard here. He just took that on my hand. Can give him some line. Oh yeah, I got, yep. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, oh god, that feels big, dude. Dude, this feels big. <laughs> this feels very big. And he's giving me. I think this is a walleye. I think this is a big walleye. He's not taking any like huge runs. This is big. <laughs> this is this is big. I don't know if this is just the light setups making it seem really big, but this is no. This feels really big. This is a big walleye. I think if this is a pike, I will cry. Oh god, dude. These are some big head shakes. Yep. Oh god. Yep. That looked pretty big, dude. It's big. That looked pretty. Oh god. Yep. Oh god. Okay. Oh god, dude. She's big. Oh god. Ah! We just want. What, dude? <laughs> Let's go. Buddy. Oh man, that's like bigger than that's, mine. That gotta be twenty. Oh, dude. Plus. Dude, that would be the biggest <laughs> wall I've ever caught. No. What is going on, dude? This is huge. Jeez, oh my god. All right, I'm gonna put it on the bump real yep. quick. Just uh. Then I'll let her take a drink here, and then I'll get the big camera out. No, nope, 27. Really? Just touching 27. Oh, you guys can see that? Just touching 27. So, Connor and I just got both got 27 inches, but that that's a, a good looking fish. On. Yeah, this is a super girthy fish. I'm actually gonna let this fish get a drink just because I want it to stay healthy. Look at this beautiful Minnesota fall walleye. This thing. 27 inches, got that good girth right there. Shout out to my man, Connor Kleiss, for hooking me up. We just both caught 27 inch walleyes. This is my biggest walleye that I've caught this year, and this is my second biggest walleye that I've ever caught in my life. So, thank you, buddy. It's Absolutely. amazing fish. On the fish. Thank you, I love catching them, super beautiful. But, I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna get this fish back in the water and make sure that it's healthy and stays healthy like that. So, we're just gonna regain some health here. Oh god, yeah, that's it. Oh, awesome. right back down to the depths. Thank awesome. you. Heck yes, dude. <sighs> you know, when I woke up this morning, I did not think I was gonna catch a 27-inch walleye, let alone a beautiful, gorgeous Minnesota walleye. I love coming back to the state. As you guys know, I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and you don't get the good walleye fishing like you do up here. Called up my good buddy Connor. He's been on a great bite. Oh, that's just crazy. That's just crazy, dude. I that is awesome. I did not think that was gonna happen today, let alone two 27 inchers in one day back to back back to back he caught that and then i caught that and literally i was just sitting there and my rod just went thump and it, the rod almost came out of my hand honestly if you watch that gopro clip but dude i <laughs> i'm just going you got me going right now dude oh my god i love this man i love this i'm gonna see if i can catch one on a dead one what oh god dude Oh no, this is you. No, dude, you this is you. This is you, dude. It was a dead minnow though. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. Oh my god, dude. What the heck? So I'm sorry folks. I threw a dead minnow down on the freaking bottom of the lake. Didn't think anything was, anything was gonna happen. And then I almost lost Connor's rod. It was like going in the in the freaking water. Dude, that's another like 25 incher. No, dude, what the heck? So oh, I almost lost oh, your rod. I feel bad, dude. Oh, God. What kind of day is going on here, dude? Look at that. That's another easy 20. That's 25, I think. That was on a dead minnow, guys. That was it's on a there. dead minnow. Let me see that thing it's horizontal. Oh, God, yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely dude. beautiful. All right, we're not going to waste any time on another freaking tank of a walleye. So healthy. Oh, so healthy. I know. Look at the colors, dude. God. Oh, All right, oh, look at that. Sassy. Oh. Oh, she's ready. She's ready. Dude, what a freaking day. What is going on, dude? Connor's like, all right, how many more big girls do you want to catch? Anyone want to get some small guys? Dude, I don't even know if I want to do that anymore. It's just too much fun catching these big girls. Oh my God. All right, well, you guys just stay tuned. I'm sure this is not going to be the last walleye that we catch. Well, now there's like, it went from like a little bit of wind to no wind. All right, yeah, I got one. Okay. Yep, there's another one. I don't know if it's 27 inches big, but it's, yeah, this is another big one. Oh yeah, not not a 27 inch, that's a, that's a big walleye. That's probably 24. Oof. Let's go. All right, another good looking walleye here. All right, I'm just gonna throw on the bump real quick. I was guessing 24, just touching 24. Another good looking walleye, just another beast of a walleye here. This one's a little bit skinnier, but getting back in the water. See you later, guy. 
Well, we're out of bait, folks. I mean, like like Connor was saying, it's a, it's a good. That means it was a good day, and it was a great day. We just couldn't like find find the eaters, you know. Connor, being the awesome guy he is, puts me on 27 inch walleyes, and then he's like, "Well, since we didn't catch any eaters, I I will give you some." And I was like, "Bet." Yeah. No. Fresh walleye regardless, and uh, a fun day. It's yeah. I agree. I agree. So we're gonna go get this walleye, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Oh God, yeah, we got the man cave in here, dude. Oh geez, why why are you the best? You are I the try. best person I, I know. Try. A week old, hardly in the freezer, delicious, clean water, fresh walleyes. Oh my God, this dude, you are way too nice. Thank you. On some tacos. Yes, Ooh. we are doing. I wish you could come. My girlfriend's like, I want to eat all of it, so it's like, I don't want. I'm well, scared I of her. Have any anyway. Yeah, I'm I scared of her. Numbers. We got the bragging board right here. Look at this guy. Oh, oh man, what a guy. Yeah. Where's the one with the, oh? All right, if, yeah, so if you guys don't know, Connor is actually best friends with the one, the only, James, James Holst. Holst. Great guy, whole crew is awesome. Uh, In-depth outdoors, ice fishing's common, so stay tuned. You should so, tell James I said what's up. I will. James, if you're watching this, what's up? Anyways, Connor, super nice to give me some walleye because I, we couldn't catch any eaters, but we caught giant fish though. So I, you can't complain about catching 27 inch walleyes. He was kind enough to be like, yo man, like I know you wanted to do a catch and cook, so I got some fish for you, all bagged up, all cleaned, ready to go. So shout out to Connor, really appreciate that man. Anytime. But now, this is my favorite part. We're gonna go home, we're gonna thaw these out, and then it's time to eat some tacos. You guys stay tuned. Okay, so we have everything right here, ready to go, nice and easy, quick in and out. Basically, got the oil in the pan, getting hot. Have the walleye, all nice and chopped up. We have the eggs, and we have the breading. Breading today is shore lunch, Cajun style. One thing that I did forget that you should have is flour but I was too lazy to go and get flour. Basically, you need the flour to get the egg to stick onto the fish better, but it's not 100% necessary. You don't absolutely need it, which today I think I'm gonna survive without it. But step one is gonna take little wale fillets right here, dip it in the egg, dip it in the batter, put it in the grease. Probably just gonna run a time lapse right here. I think you guys pretty much get the point of what I'm gonna do. So I'll set up a little time lapse here. I'll get this rip in and I'll give you a little update once I got some in the grease. Got the whole spread right here. Got tortillas, sriracha, tartar sauce, Mexican four blend cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. Got the fish done, finally. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit, and then Lindsay and I, we're gonna make tacos, and they are gonna be freaking amazing. I snuck some fish while I was making it, and amazing. Cajun was the move. The Cajun seasoning, or breading, absolutely the freaking move. Shout out to my man Sam, who actually told me about that. Definitely gonna keep using that one because that is freaking fire. But gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna make our tacos. I'll see you guys there. Ooh wee, boys, boys, boys. Look at that, that looks scrumptious. What do you think about it? I'm drooling. All right, let me, you go first, take your first bite. All right, ready? Yep, go for it. What do you think? Unreal. Do I get the girlfriend approval? Oh, sweet. All right, boys. Going in for the first bite of the taco. Yep, she's focusing. There we go. That looks amazing. Wow. Oh, that's what I think about that. That's fire. Oh my, wow. I'm telling you guys, walleye is the best, the best fish to eat. Absolutely amazing. That was freaking so good. Oh my goodness. I haven't had fish tacos in a long time, let alone walleye fish tacos. Cajun batter is the move. For any of you guys wondering, Cajun batter, do exactly what we just did and you will not regret it. It's gonna be amazing. Wow, that was freaking good. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know we've been posting a lot of, sorry. <laughs> 
Lindsay's just going ham back there eating the taco. I know we've been posting a lot of waterfowl videos. I know you guys have been enjoying them. Just wanted to mix it up a little bit and do a little walleye catch clean cook for y'all. Again, huge shouts to my boy, Connor Kleist. Remember, if you guys want to book a trip with him, which you guys should, I will leave all of his stuff linked down below. That's it for my time in Minnesota. So I am going back down south to Omaha and Brookings. Gonna be doing some more stuff with Flair. So I don't know when I will see you guys again, but I really appreciate you guys supporting Sam and supporting me when I come back on the channel. It really means a lot. You guys are the best. I literally am so thankful for each and every one of you. But I'm gonna go eat the rest of these walleye tacos because I'm freaking hungry. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. See you guys next time.